Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Graven. I'm back with more reactions with an ex super happy to do another episode of Shaman King. We are getting close to the end of the first season that is on Netflix, uh, which is going to be the limit of to where we watch. Uh, and this episode is Ren vs. Zen, the end of the Tao, and I'm excited for it. Like I said, they've done a really good job so far this season. Uh, I've been pretty impressed as far as this new adaption of the anime. I think it's more accurate, I think it's funnier, I think it's a little more polished. Now, I, absolutely, that's probably partially from being 20 years later and you know benefiting from new technology and etc but it just does feel really good to see it done again and i gotta tell you like i haven't seen the old ones in a while but i'm sure going back and watching them would be a little bit different than watching this now and i might be able to like see some obvious improvements or maybe not maybe there weren't many improvements or maybe that's basically the same but i feel like this is a lot more well collected than the uh, older one and the pacing has gotten to pretty much exactly where I feel like it's comfortable while still making a good story. Yeah. Uh, if you guys enjoy watching, as always, remember to support the original content creator because without them, we don't get, you know, this amazing product, whether it be the anime, the manga, uh, the old anime, etc. You know what I mean? We got to give our love through money because that's how the world runs. And secondly, a uh, big shout out to you guys, whether you're watching on Patreon, YouTube, or live with us on Twitch. Uh, it really means a lot to me that you're joining us for this, supporting our content, even if just by watching. And, you know, if you have any advice for me on how I can improve, remember to leave it below in the comments or in our Discord, and I'd be happy to do my best to try it. Uh, with that said, we're just going to go ahead and start. Ryu and Horohoro. Horo. Oh no, didn't they already get... Oh no, I, I remember, didn't Tao and come down and body them? Water. Yep. Oh no, I forgot it wasn't even, um... I knew they were bodied, but I forgot it wasn't even Tao Ed. It was that one fucking, uh, jinxing. Oh wow, it is him. Wait, he shouldn't be able to take that off without his thing. Lee Pyrone! It was recreated. I remember this. Damn, he crushed his ass. My sister snapped. <laughs> his hair got two of them now! <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? No, I'm going back for it. <laughs> I'm going back for the hair, boys. For the hair. Every fucking... T <laughs> it literally transformed. <laughs> he didn't even try. <laughs> he didn't even try to hide it. What the fuck? <laughs> I, can't, I can't take it seriously. You gotta get it off screen. Fucking hair. I can't I can't take it seriously as long as his hair looks like that. It's too fucking funny. I can't. I fucking can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> and his beard. There it went. It went back. That's how I kinda remember it. Is a little bit like that. It's not quite there either. What the fuck? Did you guys get skip beat up by corpse? <laughs> he did warn him. He straight up warned him a lot. Sir, I don't like your implications. No, oh, nice kick. Nice kick, Lee Pyrone. For those who don't know, Tao is a way of life. Uh, it's like a creed or a... You know, stuff like that. Octopus? Because he cut, got his arm back. 
にかくほっとくわけにはいかんのよバカななぜ立ちやがる俺たちは奴を前にすればするほどシャーマンとして力まねばならなかっただから奴がオーバーソウルであることに気づかなかったんだ今なら見えるだろうあれがオーバーソウルだと He actually is a really cool looking character. And I think his sword is like made of gravestones or some shit. It's crazy shit. Battery carries him in his cloak. There's no way someone so gigantic could exist. Not in this universe. From his beard? There's nothing ordinary about him. Yeah, 10 years at least. He continuously maintained it. Damn. That's uncertainty. Look at his dumbass crying. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he carries his family on his back for real, bro. Look at that shit. Damn, are they gonna do. Yeah, there it is, the great Tau Dragon. And his sword's green. That's pretty cool. Spiral Vorpal. Yeah, I like this. This is really well done. The emotion behind it, the... No uncertainty. Ooh, nice graphics for it. <laughs> right in the nose! <laughs> the animation's actually legit. <laughs> Look at the face, it was so comedic. He pulled out a gat. And that is his wife. His dad pulled out a fucking strap on him. That shit was lit. I love his family. They're gangster, bro. His family is straight gangster. Well, yeah, but evil. Yeah, it doesn't mean not having friends. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Dude, he's smart. He's got the benefit of age. Thank you, sir. This guy's lit. I don't remember this. I bet you it was in there and I just don't remember it. This is really good. Balance the towel. Shaman fight upon Sendo Hiva, more sick of Sukumatic Stay in the Colossus. Oh, Yarno, what the fuck? I gotta watch that again. It was, it's worth it to watch that part again. Spend more time at home. Do it then, Grandpa. What is this shit? Why do you get rid of the horse? He's got him saved your ass. He followed him. On his dragon. The lightning sword. I love it too because they really did do a good job of framing saying like yes not only are these people and you know this family evil and recognize I stake this great eternal Anna that not only okay we're, we're gonna wait I'll, I'll talk about it at the end I guess oh here comes the next round Aoki records damn remember those things Bob. 
Oh my god, that was actually just kind of extra. Um, but no, that was honestly really, uh, really good, guys. Like, I think they did an excellent job in portraying the characters there as people and not foibles, right? Like, by the end of it, you're not like, look, the Tao family is not just evil. Yes, even the head Tao, old Tao, old man Tao is like, yeah, we're evil. But good and evil are just, you know what I mean, descriptors for the modern day, like for what people do or don't like is very conceptual flips depending on history and so many other things. And so it was so cool to see him go that way and be like, look, you know, we're people. We're not, you know, that you can be a good person, bad person, you know, evil, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, we're people and we're shamans. And I don't know. It was really cool. I love that way. The way he described that was, well, there were some really good parts honestly in these last two episodes with Ren's family that I thought did well I'm super happy they didn't make it three episodes for that because two was the right number I thought they were going to extend to another episode and they didn't and it's great but yeah so well done the relationship between Ren and his father was done well I mean just everything about that was an excellent episode probably one of the best episodes of the season in my opinion especially considering the episode before it and that's the thing it's always tough for me to pick episodes and seasons and tv shows as opposed to movies because they have a much more intricate progression usually than movies because there's very few movie universes that are all connected right but tv shows are intrinsically episode connected to the next to the next to the next and the plot and the people very heavily depend on what came right before it right um i think a good example uh is the whole hair thing with Ryu, like the the reason that last haircut's so funny is all the ones before it so which once again the double haircut of the fucking and then the the double and then to go to the other one for it was just so great and i love that they did it and it might even be manga accurate i'm not sure i really got to go back and read shaman king it's on my list along with one piece to read the whole thing again but that's gonna take a while so we're gonna take a bit before we do that with that said i hope everybody enjoyed watching i don't want to rant too long but i will say remember support the original content creator because without them we don't get more of this great content there'll be leaks for that below if you enjoyed watching like comment subscribe watch us on twitch you can become a patron for as low as a dollar a month and you know miss out on all these edits we have to put on youtube to avoid copyright strikes but with that said i do want to say thank you to everyone who watched if you enjoyed it great i'm super happy tell me what you liked if you didn't like it tell me what you didn't like and i'll try to improve it next time you know what i mean but without further ado i'm axel grave this has been reactions with the next shaman king and we'll see you next time